The future is here. Let me show you what you can create with AI. This was made using Google VR2. And if you want to make 3D AI animated stories that look just like this, watch closely. Because this is an insane opportunity for anyone looking to create viral TikTok or YouTube videos, which you can very easily monetize with this kind of views. So for those that don't know yet, Google just recently launched VO2, which is their generative video model. And you couldn't even access it till now, but now you can. So I'll show you how to create step-by-step -step 3D AI animated story from scratch. It will have a look of a professional Hollywood level cartoon. And the best yet is that you don't have to juggle multiple tools. You don't have to go to ChatGPT to write a script. Then you don't have to go to Midjourney to create an image. You don't have to go to 11 Labs for AI voiceover. And then at the end, generate the videos and put all of it together in all these different platforms. But for this one, we'll use one and that's Catalyst AI. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'll show you the project files of the first video that you saw on the screen and then we'll go step by step where I'll show you how to do every single thing. Right, so here we are, the Enchanted Adventures of Prince Elias. So here we're in the timeline view and that's because we already have the whole video generated and we have the storyboard. But before that we had to create the storyboard where all the characters, the locations and the actual story comes together. So first we have this opening scene of a medieval castle and then we have prince and the princess here in this room. Then they go to the cave and at the end we have a nice sunset where they are on their horses. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple video and I walk you through everything. So you have this cohesive style, you have the same characters, you have unique locations and how to just put everything together so you have a final result that looks like this. Dawn breaks over the castle, hinting at adventures yet to unfold. In their chambers, Elias and his soul prepare hearts beating in sync. In a hidden cave, they uncover treasures, each relic whispering secrets. As sunset paints the sky, they ride home, hearts full of cherished moments. All right, so now let's go to the other tab. And here we have three options. First option is we upload a script if we already have one. The second option is we can start from scratch with a blank project. And the third option is what we're going to do today, and that's using AI Script Assistant. So otherwise, you would have to go to ChatGPT or Perplexity or any other LLMs, and you would ask it to give you like a few ideas and then write a script, and then you would copy that and come to the image generator and you would paste it and then you would try to make everything cohesive and in the same style. But today we're using Catalyst AI and with one single prompt here, uh, will generate the script and it will have the same style, the same characters and the locations so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so the prompt I'll use is a story about a prince and a princess living their best life in enchanting nature. So now let's click generate script and out of this we'll get up to 10 frames but we can also add more later and here they are. So here we just check if the script is all right. Um, on the right we can edit it if you don't like something. We can even exclude it like this, but I think everything's okay. And then we have the setting. So setting, that's a new feature inside Catalyst. And what it just means is that it will keep the same cohesiveness across all of the frames and you know, it will put a story that... So now let's click next. We have 10 scenes and the next thing we'll do is we'll pick the style and there are a number of pre-generated styles that you can pick from. Okay, so here are the styles, they're still loading, but we have sketch, we have cinematic, we have anime, which is also newly added and we have children's illustration, woodblock print, all these different styles, but I'll choose computer animation because that's what we're going for today. So now let's click next. And here we have two different characters, that's Prince and then we have Princess. Now the next thing we have to do is we click on create the project and you see all the script, the styling and the cast catalyst will basically bake all of it together and we'll get a very nice storyboard which we'll use to create a 3D animated story. 
So here it is. Now the newly added feature is also this progress bar here so you don't get lost. At the moment we are at the ideation stage, then we have the storyboard, the video and at the end we have the animate. So first thing first, meanwhile it's extracting the script as you can see. Uh, we have the cast members here, uh, here at the top. We can also add new characters if we would want to do that. We have the locations and we also have the prompts for each of these frames here. The next thing after we'll confirm the frames is going to the timeline where we will generate the videos. All right, so why do we have the storyboard here? It's because it gets really messy if you're downloading and generating the images one by one. So having all of them together at one place really makes everything organized. And we can also see the timeline, right? So we have the first frame, the second frame, the third frame, which we can also change. So it's not in this order, but we can get like a general idea of the final video we'll get. So now what you want to do is you can go frame by frame if you're not satisfied with the current options or you can go to the timeline. But because I want to show you how to use Catalyst AI, let's click on the second frame here where the princess and the prince are holding their hands and I'll show you the different features that you have inside Catalyst that give you additional control that otherwise you would have to you know, spend more time generating new shots. But here we have this frame, we have the description which we can change and we can generate new images. Or the second option is we have the character posing tool. So for example, if you would want to have them separated and we want like nothing in the middle, we could like drag the characters like this and we then write that they're not holding their hands. So then we have the crop tool and we also have generative fill tool. So for example, let's say we want to have a dragon in the background. Let's do this. We simply mark the section that we want the object to be there and then we write the prompt. A dragon flying in the background. Now we click on this next arrow here and now it's generating the image with a dragon behind the princess. And here we have it. So now the next thing we have to do is we click save to assign this frame to the storyboard. Otherwise we will still be using the, the previous frame. All right, so let's say this is it. Now the next thing we do is we go to the timeline here in the right section. And here are all the clips with the voiceover already pre-generated out of the prompt we used for the frame. Now, what we can do here is we can go frame by frame and generate like specific videos for each frame, or we can choose generate all videos. And then here we have three different options. We have stable video diffusion, we have runway gen three turbo, and we have Google VO2. Now, we just introduced Google VO2 in our platform, so you can click on Google VO2. And then all you have to do is click generate videos. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create a 3D AI animated story with Google VO2. If you have any questions and if you enjoyed the video, comment down below and let us know. Happy generating. Bye.